Hey, Mark Giovanni here. Thanks for joining. So I did a live yesterday talking about templates and how to, I took a beginner's template and I improved it um, in terms of sound and usability and making it a little bit more efficient. Um, it was a live and we had some technical problems. There was some lag at some point and some drops that got cut at the beginning of the whole thing. Uh, because, but because I recorded it locally, I promised that I would put it together and I would upload it in, into a new video. And that's what this video is. So coming up, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, so we are recording and we are streaming. Let me just hit record here, kind of one. Hey, everyone. How's everyone doing? Que pasa, people? Let's get this started. Um, so well, I started in a few minutes earlier because uh, time is tight and I want to cover as much as possible. But goal for this, for this live today, it, uh, let me know if you can see i think this is this one yeah let me know if you can see the screen we should see cubase and but basically last week we talked about templates right and we covered you know why we need a template front end versus uh, back end and we discussed that um you know the the, the like the the why do we have a template it's, this is this is the most important part speed sound structure so yes obviously speed everything's loaded but also sound you know the template should mix the music and master the music for us and then finally a structure with having all the stems ready so when you are done composing you can you can export the stems to that to that mix we discussed all this we saw back end versus from uh, uh front end versus back end and then what else did we do uh you know we discussed the idea of not having a template but still having the back end to keep things organized and to have all the reverbs ready etc and then hey everyone thanks for joining lapsic sound media cobro frio how are you isame Nice. Thanks for thanks for joining. So happy to have you here. Thanks for joining. Means a lot. Today we're going to be talking how to take a beginner's template in, into something that uh, that sounds more professional that allows us to compose faster. All right. And we will do this. We'll create an entire template under two hours. We'll, we'll tweak everything. We'll, we'll, I hope that we can do this. I haven't tested this material, but uh, we'll see. So this is what we discussed last week. Hey, Victor. Thanks for joining. The last movie, uh, and then what else? Uh, then we geeked, we kind of like take, took a look at my template. We looked at the at the front end, all the sketching patches and all the tracks, all the libraries that I've got loaded. And then we spent some time in the back end. Here's where we took the, took a look at groups, stems, and reverbs. And that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about. What we're gonna be putting the the focus on today. Okay, we're gonna here's where we are are going because um, the. The, the creation of the, temp the template or the loading of the tracks is the easy part. And in fact, we're going to use a template, a free template from, from uh, BBC Spitfire, because you don't like that's, uh, that's not the, the secret is not in what instruments you load or, or, or how you load the instruments. In my opinion, the secret is what, happened be what happens behind the scenes. And that's what we're going to be working on. Okay. So with that being said, I think there's not much more to cover. This is the goal of uh, today's life. Today's class, we're going to be talking about how to take an orchestral template from beginner to pro. So let's get this started. Uh, BBC Free Orchestra. We're going to start with that. Okay. Happy Halloween, by the way, everyone. And uh, so we're going to go here, right? I already done this. And uh, this is the BBC Free Orchestra. Just uh, here, it'll show up the, the button. Buy. It's free. Zero dollars. Just add it to your cart. Boom. It downloads. Here uh, in um, in Spitfire's app, then you can download. And uh, after that, we are gonna keep scrolling a little bit, and then you're gonna go down here, learn more. So free templates and more. And then you're gonna learn more. You're gonna download the template for your. Hey Mario, saludos, qué pasa? Ernst, hey, how are you? Kyle, thanks for joining. Hi from te from Texas. Thanks for joining. Uh, and uh, let, me, let me let me take a look. Uh, uh, YouTube Studio. Let me make sure that the stream is content live. We're live. Yes. Let's see. 
this guy and I have to uh sorry for the audio I have to lie there you go yes we good right yeah oh I see they started a little bit late whatever okay managing okay close ba -ba -ba. Ah, let me know if uh well let, let's test the audio the audio in a second but um let's go back here where we were we don't need to see this boom 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 so there you go you're here download the speedfire app blah, blah, blah. let's imagine that we have already bought it's just it's uh it's free this one but you have to quote unquote buy it uh, and then you're gonna go here download the template boom we download the template cubase in my case and it download it and then uh here i'm in cubase and uh you just double click this guy and it'll load and it'll open so this is not so and and hey this is a starting fantastic starting point like just like there's no excuse why you couldn't compose great music if we like what we've got here let me see we've got longest string like you just load the thing And all of a sudden you've got you've got sound you've got you've got stuff going on here uh let's take a listen to the staccato cello like short short cello let me okay let's let's just start adapting this so boom use the master where's the master 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 stereo out there's this guy here you are not seeing it stereo out and we're going to add here my uh low latency low latency i think it's the ultra it's the ultra or the multi i think it's a multi yes ah, just where's the cellos cellos uh cellos here cello short Awesome. So this, I'll have it over here to control sound. So the goal here, it's so, so we have a template. We have a template already. That's nice. Okay. This is a beginner's template and you could load. I obviously, I used a free library just to show that it's possible. And uh, you could use any of your uh, libraries. Let's make this sound way better. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to attack this at the three levels, at three layers. First, at the track level. At the track level, the goal is going to be to get, uh, to get, to get rid of muddiness and avoid frequency stacking. Okay. And the task that we, what we're going to be doing is we'll, First, make, make sure that it's balanced. Second, pan. So we're going to open things a little bit. Uh, third, we're going to EQ. Add a little bit of EQ for those muddy areas or for the, in the irritation or the uh, for the more piercing frequencies at the mid-high end. But most like most of the work is going to be in the mid-low area to avoid to avoid uh, frequency stacking. And this is going to be as simple as going here and well, or, or here. And we're going to start track by track. By track. We're going to open the EQ and we, we're gonna go something like okay maybe I'm gonna be like okay just a little bit like a, a db and a half cut at you know 219 or something like this for and we're gonna do this track by track okay um, most likely we're also going to uh, do a little bit of a uh, low cut in this case 50 or something like this uh, usually something like 36 where is it could do this 36 so we're gonna be doing this um, track by track so this is what this guy here means EQ and finally saturation we're gonna add uh, a tad a little bit of um, tape or analog saturation to every one of the of the tracks as well at the groups level and I'll explain this why but at the groups level the goal is to improve the mix to make it sound better right so mix you know rock and roll like we have to make this sound better how we're gonna do this 
We're gonna set up the reverbs. We're gonna set up the compressors. Just, just don't mind that sometimes we, we may uh, a few other things, right? And others, others like uh, you know, others. Um, it it these these guys. Sound a little bit mellow. Sound a little bit. Um, so we we also would um, brighten uh, things. Um, we may add a little bit. What else? We may open the string sometimes. So uh, so with maybe cool small little things like this. Okay. And finally, at the stems level, so tracks, groups, stems. The goal here is mastering, so we're gonna we're gonna um, set up all the mastering uh, plugins. So this is how it looks like, kind of thing. So if we zoom in a little bit and stop the camera, stop it from moving. Okay. So again, at the track level, gain. So for balance, gain for balance, EQ to avoid frequency stacking and uh, and uh, tape saturation. At the groups level, here's where the mix happens, a little bit of compression and reverb. And at the stems level, here's where the mastering happens. Okay. And we're gonna all this is gonna go to the master track the from the stems and the reverbs that are loaded in the groups, uh, or the, the send the, the, the reverb sends from the groups here. Uh, I in this drawing there's not the, the effects groups, but you get the idea. All right, let's continue. Let's so let's continue now. Let's, let's get started. And please. Please uh, feel free to ask any question. Um, yeah, exactly. The onboard stuff, the stock plugins on Cubase is already pretty awesome. We're gonna do most of it in in Cubase. Um, maybe, maybe a cap, you know, a couple of plugins out, uh, you know, here and there. Maybe not Cubase. Just uh, just to kind of like show you that uh, there are also other plugins out there that I like, and I'll show them. But uh, I'll start with everything Cubase. Okay. Even the reverbs, and then I'll replace the reverbs, and I'll add some other reverbs that are not QAs. Um, please ask questions if you get any question. Not too many because I don't have that much. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> Let's get this started. Ah, so so if you get this, let's follow the plan. Number one, uh, tracks, gold, get rid of the of frequency, balance. Let's start with balance. So I like to have one track, which is the 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 one that kind of like sets the the. It's the reference track for balancing everything else. And generally for me, don't ask me why, is the the cellos staccatos. And so I'm going to add two asterisks here. So this is the track that sets the balance. So let's um, let's get started. That uh, kind of like... Uh, this, oh, let's get this. Uh, <laughs> Is there anything that we can improve uh, here? Meaning, like, can we, like, how much can we tweak this? Pretty basic. Uh, do we have? Nah, I have. We do not have start time right now. Okay, we've got what we've got. It's a free library. So, so first of all, I'm gonna make sure that the 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 reverb to all of them is down, which it is, right? But I do not want the reverb that comes from from the player, so no reverb to any of them. And in the in the professional pay libraries, when you click here, right click here, you can choose the the you can define the 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 the, the start time for the sample. Uh, and so it, uh, I think with a little bit of a more space for like the sample start time, it would sound a little bit more realistic. Also, there's uh, I think the. The, there's no round robin. I think there's just one sample, one recording. So when you start repeating notes, then it sounds machine gunny kind of thing. Right? So but it's, it's a free library. So it is what it is. Cool. Um, so let's continue. Uh, okay. So this is the... I'm going to balance things. So one, two, three, four. It's too loud, I guess. Minus twenty. Nah. Let's keep it simple. 
I actually don't want to repeat notes too much, but... Okay, so that's this. Let's see how balanced things are. So, one, two... Yeah, yeah, it sounds good. Uh, let's go violins too. These are a tattoo. Let me see. In my opinion, let's see. So by this, this is violins too. Let me. Okay, violins too. To, I think, in my opinion, let's let's just mute them. But I think they are a little bit too too high, uh, too uh, hot in the mix. The ones I like. But twos. Are a tad too loud, so we're gonna go here. So this is boring, but we're balancing. So shorts and for violins two, violins two, short notes. I think this should go down a little bit. Now I don't like to. So I like to balance my template in the gains. Um, the reason why is because if I had a dynamic, a dynamic uh, plugin inserted, I, 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 the, 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 the gain will affect or the input will affect, so I have more control if I do it that way. So I'm gonna go here first, and I'm gonna show uh, channel, there you go. This guy, this guy, no, not this guy. No. Uh, uh, there you go. No. No rugs here. Free. There you go. Free. So now we're gonna open this guy. There you go. And here's the gain. So we're talking violence two. And I'm gonna lower it minus two point five dBs. There you go. No, a little bit. Let's go minus one point five. One point five. All right, cool. Yes, I think it, it's a, it's a better representation. If now we had violins one and two, and then we move these guys up a third. No. Let, let me let me move the violins up a third. Makes more sense. Na, 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 na. Nah. Yes, okay, cool. Let's see the violas. And you would have to do this track by track. Ooh. I think they are a little bit too loud. In my opinion, they are a little bit too loud, so we're gonna bring, and they are a uh, Where's violas? Uh, violin two, violas here. Viola. Um, I'm gonna bring this down minus at least two point five in this case. I think it. Will. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. I'm going to. Should we assume? No. Let's not assume. Um, so we're gonna balance the because this is just an example. We're gonna balance. Mark, you have double sound from your computer here on a, on a stream. What, you, you, really? Oh, you're right. Ooh, 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 I am so, so sorry. Thanks for letting me know. This sounds so odd, sorry. Uh, sorry, I think the, I have a, a problem here on OBS. So desktop audio. 
desktop. Ah, obviously, obviously, this is uh, not my template. Let me connect it, control room connect it. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is, looks good. And I guess outputs, no, exactly. No connected, not connected. Sorry, this is not my template and that's why. One second. <laughs> ¿Sí? Sí, es que no queda más. ¿Vas a darle cariño? Sí. Vale. Pero no se lo voy a enseñar. Morre. Sí, se lo voy a enseñar. Vamos a caerlo dentro de la boca. Morre, cariño. 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 Morre, cari all right so hopefully hopefully now it'll work let me see yes now it should okay should work should work fine right now yeah let me know in the comments please So this should sound like this now. Works great, fantastic. Scoring factor, Cobra Frio. The, to your question, how uh, do you compose a love song with flutes, solo, violin, and cello and piano? Well, at the end of this, when I've got the template configured, if got time, um, I'll take, I'll, uh, I'll compose a quick cue. All right, awesome. So sorry about that, and. Hopefully in the, uh, at the beginning of the, well, if I edit this video, I'll make sure that uh, this sounds good. But let's continue. So now we've got, what in my opinion, it's uh, a little bit more balanced. So we, um, we balanced, we, we brought down violins a little bit. So th those are the basic things, but these are important things. So violins, one dB and a half, and viola staccatos, one, two dB and a half. Let's do a, a line of the long. We're not gonna balance everything, but we're gonna balance the most important, but at least you see kind of like what uh, um, the process. Now still, right, we're going to, the reference is still this 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 one. So I'm gonna balance the kind of like long cellos with uh, with short cellos kind of thing, and then I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna balance the rest. Let's see. And I'm I'm trying to keep the velocity kind of like consistent at around you know a little bit below 100. Um, in the and so now as I'm doing this, okay, I think the long notes are a little bit too hot. I think here it would make sense, but I'm kind of like, I'm low in exp expression, expression here and kind of low in, um, in modulation as well. So dynamics and volume. And so, so I'm going to lower the long notes a little bit. So I'm going to, I think this is at least minus three. I'm going to go minus four. Yes. Okay. That works. Let's write some. And by the way, I didn't uh, level the, the the double basses. Yeah. Yeah. I think the cellos are. I uh, the double basses are no problem. If so, I would. Nah, they, they work. I think they work. Cool. Now let's. Um... We've balanced the long notes. Let's go with the cellos. <whistles> cellos, long notes. That's why it sounded so loud, the, the click. That was uh, weird. Okay, minus 11. No. 
Let's see violas, long notes. So this is now balanced. And then violas. Yeah, I think it works. Let's see. Violins too. Good luck. Just a tad too loud, violins too. So we're gonna go here again. This guy, this guy, at least minus three, my opinion. Let's go minus four or five. Ah, uh, minus four, just. Yes, okay. And let's see by this one. Yeah, this works. I think this one works. Cool, awesome. So that's the process of balancing. Okay, this would be this would be what you would do for with, with the entire. So balance. Then I'm just gonna do string short long because doing the entire thing would take uh, longer. But this is important, right? Because when you're composing, you want to have everything balanced. And number two, we're going to um, let's let's remind one more time what we're doing here. We're getting rid of madness with more frequency stacking. Uh, we're gonna start with balance because it's uh, it's important. Let, let's add balance. Balance. Get rid of madness. So balance. Let's say done. To get rid of madness and avoid frequency stacking, obviously we're gonna do EQ. Obviously, right? But something that helps even more than EQ is a little bit of you know placing the instruments a little bit. So um, let's talk about this. Obviously, these um, the violins already sound to the left. This is violins one. Violins two, you see, sounds a little bit more center, still left, but more center. This is one, this is two. And then the violas a little bit more to the other side, right? Cellos even more to the right. Cellos. And then finally, double bass is it's a, it's a, it's a lower sound. So, so it still has more presence on the side, but, uh, but because it's a lower sound, it's, uh, it's more omni. Okay? So, um, so with that being said, still we can we can um, we can um, place them the instruments. I'm looking for a whiteboard that I haven't used, but we can place instruments left and right. Uh, a little bit more to gain a little bit of a space. And that's a very common uh, practice, even though the live rays already come with the instruments pre panned they already sound where they should, they're supposed to sound. It's a common practice to still move them to, 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 to do this. Let me show you. To gain a little bit of a space in the left side and the right side. And that gives more at the end when, at, because this is not like we are, comp this is not like an entire orchestra perform. When we are composing an orchestral mock-up, it's very different than uh, an orchestra performing live. Life. When an orchestra performs live, life performs once in one room with a one set of mics. That's it. When we are stacking tracks, is that combination, that orchestra, or that set of mics, or that room stacked over and over and over and over again. So we have to be more cautious because as we start stacking, sometimes the samples will take too much space and the space in the mix is limited. We've got left to right, we've got depth, and we've got you know low to high frequencies. That's it. That's the spectrum that we have. As we start adding instruments, we start filling up the space. There's a moment where the space is you know there's, it's limited and it's done right. And so the more we add, the more muddy it sounds. So whenever we can remove the stuff, then the better. And we're gonna start with the process of removing right now. And you would think it starts with EQing, carving out some frequencies. It's good, but we can do something more efficient. First, before EQ, which is panning. Panning is it's uh, it, sonically for the human ear is very subtle, right? And it feels very natural, and it's uh, it's very well. Uh, it just feels pl pleasant, um, even if it's a little bit more drastic. Um, but sonically, in like the how much space a sound is taking has such a big effect because we truly are eliminating 20% of the space that that sound is taking. And that is what we want. With EQ, we are eliminating maybe 0.5% of the space that this sound is taking, right? Uh, with balance, uh, sorry, with uh, with left-right panning, 
stereo panning, which is what we're going to be doing. The effect is very pleasant to the human ear and is very efficient when it comes to is, is distributing the instruments and how much space we are actually gaining for the mix. So let's do this. So we've got the violins one here. Let's see. Let's open this uh, guy. Okay. Ah, da -da, da -da. So usually this is presented as uh, like this, right? This is not this is balanced. This is not the stereo panning. So we're gonna click here, stereo combined panner, and then. We're going to do something like this. Okay. Maybe a left is going to go 90. Okay, something like this. Now we're going to go to... Can we copy this? Copy... Yeah, copy standard panel settings. We're going to paste them here to the staccatos. Paste. Let me see. Paste. Nice. So... So you can see uh, when as I bypass this, how on the if you're using uh, this is gonna be more uh, subtle, um, and it's going to be more noticeable using uh, headphones uh, with the speakers. Generally, these changes are a little bit less drastic, uh, but you can see how it uh, the, the 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 right side gets a little bit more empty of sound in a way, right? Then we lose a little bit of the ambient, which is nice, which is good. It's what we want in this case in an orchestral mockup or orchestral programming. Context. It's like the sound is more concentrating in that area, which is where, where we want the, the the violins one. Now violins two. Let's go here. Violins two. Let's go with short notes. Ah, so same thing. I would close this guy a little bit. And this one, I'm going to be a little bit more drastic because it it feels a little bit too center for me. So. So not as much as violins one, but. So this one a little bit more drastic because to me, violins one, violins two should not feel that big of a difference. But, uh, they, so violins one, a little bit more to the left, obviously. Uh, uh, the violins two a little bit more like center left, but not as center as what I hear it here. So let's see violins one, two. Yes, still different, but good. Uh, this um, obviously this is a free library. It's correct. We've got this opportunity to to use these high quality sounds um, with a with a free package. Um, but definitely there are some inconsistencies. That's okay. That's what we are doing, right? So volume inconsistency is also panning, uh, and also the, the the type of short notes like the violins one and the violins two. This is a spiccato, and violins are both spiccato, but they they sound very very different, very different in my opinion. That's okay. Um, you know, it gives us a chance to actually to have two types of uh, short notes. So anyway, this sounds like a, like more like a spiccato and this sounds more like an staccato. But anyway, cool. All right, moving on. So then we're going to have the violas. Okay, I like the placement. Oops, I like the placement, but uh, we're gonna close them a little bit just to gain the space, as we have said. So it's gonna be kind of like this. Maybe a little bit more. Chill. All right, cool. And I'll look at the comments in a second. So short notes. And then so cello, so you, you, the, the difference like on the sides cleaned up a little bit, 
which is nice. So we, what we're doing here is small little, small, small little improvements, but tons of them. So that the small little improvement in uh, in isolation, it's uh, it's it's a small little nuance. Right, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but when put when when you put them all together, it does make a difference. But we're moving step by step, so it takes a little bit of time. So cello, sh short notes. This is going to be. I I don't think we need to open the cellos more, but for sure we're gonna. Great, awesome. We, we clean up quite a bit the the left side. We're losing a little bit of the space, the the room sound, and uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We will uh, uh, the one the next step at some point is going to be set up reverbs, and we'll regain a little bit of that, and we'll have a reverb that 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 puts them all in the same place. Cool, all right. And then finally, double bass is not much to do really, but I like to close them just a tad because the bass, the, 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 the more centered, the better. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, cool. So let's uh, close this guy. Maybe too much. Maybe too much. Maybe too much in this case. I'm not going to because I like what it does. Yes. Yes. So uh, like this. Okay, subtle, but kind of it concentrates the, the the power of the low frequencies a little bit more centered. Cool. All right. So real quick, and I'm going to take a look at comments right now. But before I go there, so we've got violins long, short, and then we've got short, and I'm gonna copy, 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 paste for the long, and the same here, short. Activate, this is Biola's copy, paste, and then for the cellos, copy, just for speed, paste, and finally the double basses, copy, by the way, I could have used the, the um, we, we didn't discuss, we haven't, we didn't discuss this, but I could have used the, the key switches version of the library. I didn't because um, I wanted to a little bit more flexibility later on in the groups. It still can be done. But anyway, this is the template that I loaded from them. They've got two versions of the template, just so you know. So copy, paste, paste. Okay, so we've done the work here. Let's see, let's take a look at this. Not bad in here. Yep. Not bad. Okay, cool. Questions, comments. Okay. Um the double sound fixed. Thank you for the note. Um, yes, so I bring the, the gain down and not the faders. Um, and the Y is... I, I've always done it this way. I like to balance with gains. Um, I used to uh, kind of like um, sometimes uh, mix live music. And uh, when you have the band up there, you kind of like balance everything with gains. And then you mix live with, uh, with volumes kind of thing. Um, so that's one reason, you know, I'm used to do it this way. The second reason is because, oops, sorry. The second reason is because 
if I uh, in a large template context. Sometimes you need you need more. Like imagine that you've got everything here. Uh, here I've got five uh, six dBs of headroom, right? From zero to plus six. This is all, all I've got. Here in gain, I could go all the way up to plus forty eight. So it gives me a little bit more of um, flexibility if I need to bring up something. Obviously, there's a workaround to this. Like you could select all of the volumes, bring them down like this, and well, I just found you an extra twelve dBs, right, um, of headroom uh, from the, kind of like the balance point up, right. So there's you know this is uh, definitely uh, doable. But uh, so so there's a solution to this. But that's the, the reason number two, and reason number three. I like to have control over the input of, let's say, we had a compressor here, um, like uh, C. If we had a compressor, um, like a multiband compressor or something like this, or just a compressor, as you know, the what what track is this? It's a bad example because it's long notes. But anyway, uh, imagine that we. This is the minus four. If I bring up the gain, this will start compressing, right? So it is nice to have control over the input so I can also control the. That was what? Minus, minus one, five? Minus. Uh, I forgot what number this was. Minus four, I think it was. So I can, so I can, so I have control over the input of the dynamic plugins if I have anything inserted here. Cool, great question. More. Yeah, it's a it's a free library, so we we are you know obviously. Like just before COVID or a little bit more, um, we didn't even have free or you know semi-decent free libraries. So so yeah, it's it's very limited, but uh it's a good starting point. Video streaming perfect, looks good to me, video sounds perfect, fantastic here, higher quality, uh, video looks perfect, just uh internet uh, uh The quality of the video looks good. The first violin long pass reminds me of the Assassin's Creed theme. See? And I didn't even think about it. I'm an awesome composer. I'm just kidding. Uh, this balance with me, this is C. Uh, so, so the way I'm, I'm balancing, by the way, let's, uh, when I'm balancing this, uh, so for balance, just, just as a note, balance, generally I'm trying to, uh, velocity, 90, so I, I try to keep everything at 90, and, uh, and expression, that's kind of like 90, something like this as well. And then with this, I try to balance everything else. Um, but there's still there is, um, there, there are when, when uh, in a in another context with with mixed libraries, there are libraries I will balance cinematic studio strings for example, and then I'll balance them at this right at expression ninety or whatever, and uh, I'll balance um, Abbey Road Orchestra by range one, but the, the 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 volume change when you trans when you um, transition between dynamic layers in cinematic studio strings it feels more. Um, consistent with um, Abbey Road Orchestra Violins 1, for example, it stays pretty soft at, you know, up to like 80% or so, and the last 20%, it just, it, uh, it's where the fortes and the fortissimos are, and so obviously, that's why we have expression, right, so that's why we have expression, so when we are this one for me here, expression, CC11. So we can rebalance as we are composing depending on the dynamic layer that we are in and uh, comparing different libraries. libraries. Okay, let's continue. So, so, so far, so good. So we've got these guys. 
Let's go with Hide and Hero. All right, cool. And double base works as well. Where are we then? What's the next step? So balance. Let's get rid of muddiness. So next step is going to be to get. So we've done panning. Where's panning? Uh, here. Balance. Panning. EQ. Let's get start getting rid of uh, muddiness. But by the way, uh, panning has helped getting rid of muddiness. 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 EQ. Let's go. Let's do EQ now. So let's just start with Byron's one. Let's go. Let's go here and let's just solve this guy. So, Yeah. So without, with. So it, it cleans up. I'm going to make it, I'm going to exaggerate it. See, the, obviously minus 90 bits would never cut as much in our casual context, but it cleans the sound, uh, it cleans the sound too much in this, at this point. It gets too thin. But at a uh, minus two dBs kind of thing. See, it gets rid of the woo 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 that we don't want. Without. We can hear the woo 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 too much. Huh? We can bring this up a little bit if we want. There's a, it feels like the sound is. Pretty much like there's there's uh they cleaned up the low end but uh, just I generally don't do that as much let's, let's just keep it. here all right cool awesome so let's see if we can carry this over I'm gonna copy EQ settings and I'm gonna paste them here in the long notes paste EQ settings. And then I'm gonna activate this and I'm gonna do it minus, let's start minus 100, uh, 36 dBs. Minus, oh, so, sorry, 100, sorry. So long notes. Here. Ah, so. try different notes because obviously when you hit the harmonic of that specific note you hear it as I go here's where that's what I want to cut and it's not that it's not the it's generally in the muddy area okay so I think it's around 185 which is very similar to this what we found in the staccato so we're gonna bring it down It's more obvious, so the, 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 there it is, subtle, but and it's more obvious when you stack multiple notes because now you're stacking, you're already stacking with multiple notes, right? So one note, no problem, three notes, muddiness, muddiness already. Let me bring down the volume just now. okay, 
I just brought down just FYI, I brought down this guy from here to here. So, muddiness. You can see with this chord, which is a C minor chord, a uh, second inversion kind of thing, where uh, and you can see when when the EQ is not active, so yellow, um, you can hear more of the muddy first harmonic of the chord, like this. That's that kind of like muddy C uh, phantom note. It sounds like this kind of thing, right? And uh, and when I activate this, it boom, it kind of it disappears a little bit. So so with with the EQ. Activate it. It feels like a like a, a little bit like a, like a subtle weird hybrid choir sound underneath. So without And that's what we are getting rid of because we don't want that, right? Because that is the byproduct of using sample libraries. That three nodes is the result of stacking three rooms, three sets of mics, etc. Okay, and uh, and this makes a difference. So we see that in the low, in the long nodes, we had to cut a little bit more. This is minus three. Generally, when uh, working uh, working with uh, carving out some frequencies to get rid of muddiness, generally my limit is minus three. Minus three is uh, as, as much as I'm going to be cutting. Okay. So how's this so far? This is boring, isn't it? Uh, it's important once you have it uh, set up, then everything else. Uh, it's just that uh, your music sounds better every day that you can post because you've done this work pro you know, ahead of time. Uh, quick question. Um, uh, when it comes to balance, do you usually balance section by section and then you mix with the stems to match the volume gain or you balance the entire template? I balance the... Okay, good question. It's a fantastic question. I balance my entire template. I balance my entire template. Uh, so my template is, uh, as, as it is right now, which is not this one, it's an evolution of 13 years of composing, right? So it started with literally 12 tracks and I balanced those tracks as I'm adding and I had that one reference track I always have one reference track as I explained at the beginning of the video the one that has two asterisks in this case this template we've, we've decided for it to be the the, the short the stacca the cello staccatos kind of thing right so I've got that one track as a reference and every so starting with 12, 12 tracks I balance them every new track that I would add I would balance it accordingly with having that, uh, it, for me, is the I've got a um, kind of like a low staccato strings patch. Um, so that I just decided that this one is the reference. So everything that I load, I balance based on that reference, and I balance it track by track in my template, not in the stems, not in the groups, in the tracks, and I balance using gain. It's a choice. The reason why I explained three reasons, you know. You know, personal taste. I just, you know, I used to mix a lot live, uh, live bands, and I started balancing with gain, and then mixing live with with uh, with volume. Also, in Cubase, gain has more headroom, both in the in the so plus forty eight, and then minus infinite compared to minus infinity and plus six in the in the faders. And also because with gain, I can control how much input goes to the dynamic plugins if I've got something like a compression. So I prefer using gain; it gives me a little more flexibility. And, and that's it. And with that, everything is balanced. So I balance with gains. All my volumes in my tracks are at zero. So, and then this goes to the uh, groups, which is, you know, gains are at zero and volume is at zero. And then uh, this from the groups to the stems, same deal. And from the stems to the master, same deal. So that's that. Hopefully this answers the, the, your question. Thirsty. All right. Sorry, that was my internet connection. Okay, I'm happy that was your internet connection because I was freaking out. Um, have you tried analog strings? Yes. Um, can you? Oops. Can you kill the very low frequency? Can you kill the very low frequency of a double bass with equalization? The very low one that stays when we only want the attack of the instrument and the bass support. Yeah, you can do that. 
gonna kill a little bit of the uh, traditional natural sound, but uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, with um, I generally consider for the double basses to be um, there. There are the lowest instruments in the orchestra. Hola. The lowest instruments in the orchestra, but they are definitely not the lowest instruments in a uh, in a kind of like a hybrid arrangement. And if we are going for something that's a little bit lower than the traditional orchestral sound, I like to double that with um with like a you know sub bass or a sine wave or an electric bass, things like this. And so yeah, kind of like removing a little bit of the you know bottom end of the uh, double basses, um, I do. But it's very subtle. It's not like. So so and the, and to the, like the opposite question, which is how can we make the the basses sound bigger? Like you can use something like low ender and things like these, or max bass from waves. Um, I don't generally do that. I prefer to enhance the sound, the, enhance the sound by layering something that adds depth, like a sine wave or a sub you know sub synth or something like this, electric bass. Exactly. So in a live orchestra, the the low frequency double basses it's uh it's, it's the essence exactly. As the tubas, I agree hundred percent. Tubas and uh, tubas and double basses are the low instruments of the orchestra, not the bassoons, not the cheap basses, not the bass trombones, basses and uh, and and tubas. That's it. And in a in an in an orchestral context, in a in a concert hall. This is as low as you get, and it's pretty low. It's pretty amazing what you get there. In a hybrid context, you're going to go lower than that, what we just mentioned. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There you go. Agree. Thank you, Victor. You're you're such a nerd. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you are. Uh, just like me. Uh, eh. I, I, so, so, so in, to this discussion, if I can add something to this, I mean, this is just my opinion. Okay, I, Gael, this is just my opinion, but I will agree um, with those who will say um, that in like so so so. Your goal is for the double bass to sound a little bit more to, 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 to get rid of blah 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 like the, the stuff that you don't want, which is the you know the boominess. Cut a little bit so you preserve the aggression and the attack, blah blah blah, the whole thing. I prefer when it comes to orchestral work, I prefer is that what you want? What you want is a little bit more aggression to get rid of the madness, blah blah blah. Okay, just arrangement. It's an ar it's our arrangement work. If you want a little bit more of that, then uh, add something, add a layer to this that adds uh, that add, adds that. Um, so, for example, add a little bit more of cellos. Add a little bit of a, like a subtle. Maybe if you want a little bit more more of the attack, have have the an ostinato with the cellos and um, and uh, and rims or uh, tiki takas or b bring a subtle percussion instrument that adds a little bit of that bike and bite and aggression. So I always when I want something to me it's more of an an arrangement work to work out the arrangement to get what I want rather than starting EQing and cutting and you know. Can, the, the 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 sound because at the end of the day I still want to preserve the the nature of the sound and it's my work as a composer to arrange it in a way that gets across what I hear in my head rather than cutting and uh, eliminating parts of the but that, that's just me that's just me and uh, I'm not saying you should do it this way I'm a hundred percent sure that you can get what you want by modifying the bass sound in that particular case that example that gets really good example but um, I prefer doing the other way around. Uh, so, for example, if you want more bite and attack to like a traditional orchestral sound, and you've got cellos and double basses, but the double bass is too boomy, well, don't do sixteenth notes with the bass. Do sixteenth notes here in the cellos, and then just the the bass just for accenting the you know the first note of each bar, for example. And if you want a little bit more of bite and aggression, add. A layer of like chamber strings type of cellos with a closure, or kind of like LA scoring is like the all the layer scoring strings with the spiccato patch to to add a little bit more of like the, that uh, you know that the bite and attack and to hear more like the close sound of the spiccato. So you can do things like this rather than oh this is the sound that I've got. I'm going to modify and cut a few things. So 
to me, I like to think more, what are the things as a composer, that I, as a composer and orchestrator that I can do to get across the, what, I, what I intend sonically. And it's a mixture of different elements and an arrangement work rather than, that, that's just me, that's just me. Um, awesome. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Let's go for more. So where were we? We are here. So EQ, saturation. Okay, let's do a little bit more EQ. Um, to, let's do violins two, violas. Uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna work as fast as I can here. Um, moving forward, so I will talk less. Can I go here? And let's go. So we've done long here. We've got the EQ up here, short. We're gonna do long. Let's test this copy, paste, and then let's activate this at minus 100, I don't know, minus 100, for whatever reason, and 36. Works pretty good, so I'm gonna keep it the way it is. So I'm gonna go to short. Let's see, copy, paste, minus, uh, sorry, not minus 158, 36, activate. So I could fine tune this for sure, a hundred percent, but uh, for speed, in the interest of time, I'm just going to copy paste. Violins one, violins two, same um, settings, uh, EQ settings. Let's go to now violas. The C note is much louder than the D note because they open the string, and so. Um, but I would I would have loved for this to be a little bit balanced in the anyway. Let's uh, let's go here. Okay. Okay, let's start. Sometimes I just play a cluster to, to not have those main harmonics so that so too present. But I think this is the I think it ended being wow, two two two. Let's bring this down. Definitely. Okay, cool. Yes, this works. This works. Okay. Cool. Awesome. And again, for the interest of time, I'm going to copy this to the, to the staccatos. You shouldn't do this, but copy EQ, paste, and I cut at 100 again. 100 and minus 36. Let's go to the staccatos. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's bring up the volume. Yeah, I think it works. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is rare, but I'm gonna cut at two and I'm gonna cut again at let me just this one boom. At the lower 300 cycles, so 308. So I've got this two now, I guess. This is going to have to be a little bit of a higher Q because now I've got two of them and I'm going to lower them at minus two and minus two. Let's start here. Yes. Much, much better. Look at this. Without. With. See? The same thing. So, cool. Awesome. Um, so, there you go. I've got the cellos here. And then, uh, let's, let's go to the cellos. I mean, so, next one is going to be... It's going to be a little bit wider than usual, so it's going to be 0.5, and it's going to go down. I found it at 170. Generally, it's more closer to 200. Hundred percent. Cool. Let's see. I'm not gonna cut much here, okay? And uh, this is it's a uh, it's not thirty six, it's twenty four dBs per octave. Definitely, it helps a lot. With, without. Great, beautiful, nice. Cool. Let's see if we get lucky, copy, paste. Two E two staccatos, and this was forty, and then twelve. Let's see. And you're not seeing this crap. This guy. Okay. Yeah, 
I think it does a good job. Pretty, pretty good. I, I could spend a little bit more time tweaking this, but I'm going to go with this. Let's go with the with double bases that you are not seeing, but this guy here. I'm going to go with... Uh, okay, we're going to go here. So remember, we're going for the MADI frequency. We're not here to, um, to kind of kill the subsonic or the you know sub. This is this is no problem. Is this 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 kind of sound what we are looking for? The muddiness. Okay. Too aggressive. Let's do minus two. Here. Okay, cool. I think it works. I spent a little bit more time here, so I'm just gonna copy and paste for the interest of time. Copy paste here, and this is what I'm doing. I just copied and pasted this guy from here to here. I'm gonna do minus 25, so 25 dB, so uh, 25 uh, cycles, and for the for these guys. Oops, sorry. There you go. I think it does a pretty good job. Could work on this, but I think it does a pretty good job. Let's take a listen to this. Huh? And... Okay, cool. Getting there. Getting there. Let's see.
I'm, I'll take some questions now, but first we're going to go here. And so we have done this, balance. We have done pan. We have done EQ. Obviously, we would have to do the entire orchestra. But for now, we're doing um, the strings. And finally, we're going to do a little bit of saturation. Let's take a few questions. So if the balance, pan, EQ, let's do a little bit of saturation. And this is going to be very subtle, but it helps you know, putting things together. This is going to be the smallest of the of the tweaks that we're going to make, but still important. I'm going to see you guys here. Why is it that I'm not seeing the the chat? I can always come here. Uh, and check here. We're here. Awesome. I'm going to put you over this side so I can see the comments there. And I'm going to lower the quality for me. I'm going to go 144p so it doesn't, it's, it's, it's a download. But okay, saturation. Saturation. Saturation is going to be here in the channel strip. Channel strip. Boop. There you go. And where did it go? Here, strip. There you go. So we don't want to see, we don't need to see the EQ. Now we're going to be working on the. Sense. I still want to see the sense. This book. Okay. So a little bit of saturation, and we're gonna add magneto two, magneto two. Something like this. Yes. It lifts lifts up the sound a little bit, which is what I want. What did I do? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, so good. Like small but uh but uh, definitely meaningful. So without Just, just perfect. Um, and so, copy. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select, for the interest of time, I'm going to select all the tracks like this. I'm going to Option Shift, which is Q-Link, Option Shift. So, and then we're going to have Saturation. Here, we're going to select Magneto 2. Wait for it. Boom. All right. And now we're going to bring up saturation at a similar. How much was this? Kind of like 41. Okay. I bring them all up. 41. 41. 40. Come on. Let's do this. 41. Okay. And then for the short, this one went 41. All right. That's it. Let's compare. Let's put it here. So let's loop it. Ding, 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 ding. So this is going to go, Jay. It's going to go a little bit here. So, there you go, just a tad. 
It makes the sound a little bit cohesive, more cohesive. It, it it brightens it a little bit. It feels a little bit wider, a tad wider, and li it lifts up the sound. That's also a little bit of uh, of air and kind of like um, obviously it brightens the, the top end a little bit. This particular tape saturation emulation here. So now we're gonna do the same with these guys. There you go. So you add this plugin to all your tracks in your template. Or in this case, it's not even a plugin. It's uh, it's part of the channel strip, and you can you can emulate something similar with something like J thirty seven. This is what we are doing essentially. Thing like this. Okay, so you can do the same thing. I like um, the thing about J37 is that it's gonna add 2.1 milliseconds of uh, latency or to your system, and I don't like that. Um, but that's okay. 2.1 is not that much, and it'll take more CPU processing than um, the built-in or the stock. The stock um, plugins from Cubase. So no effect. Okay, cool. All right. So far, so good. Questions? Instant like. Awesome. Thank you. Just do it. Thanks for, for, for entertaining us. Yeah, I, I can I can dance. I'm, uh, I can do some flamenco, right? From, I mean, no, I'm a really bad dancer. All right, cool. Let's continue. Thanks for the support, you guys. So far, so good. All right. So now, next step is going to be... Let's see if... Uh, yes, it works. It came back. Much better. Nice. So next step is going to show saturation. Boom. Now, next mix. Gonna improve the mix. So we're gonna set up reverbs, set up compressors, and maybe brighten things a little bit. And we're staying uh, with the strings the entire time because it is where uh, it's for the interest of time. So we started with a balance here in the, at the gain level. We like I, I like to balance with gain. We talked about this at the beginning. And then we did uh, this guy here, panning. This was a stereo panning. The next step has been EQ. We've got the EQs here uh, with some cuts and some carping out of frequencies in the mid-low range. And then here. And then finally, we added a little bit of magneto. A little bit of tape saturation. And this is once again at the tracks level, and the goal is balance, get rid of mattiness, and avoid frequency stacking. Now we're gonna move to the groups, which we haven't created yet. So the the goal here is to improve the mix. So here we're gonna set the groups, set up groups, groups, set up reverbs. This is going to be in the effects groups. Um, and uh, and um, we're gonna set up compressors, right? And let's get this started because this is gonna take some time. So let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, cool. So small, 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 small. All right. So now next we are going to create the so effect effect effects tracks. Sorry. So let's start with the groups. So add group track. And this is going to be, and here's where we're going to have the group. So I like to have strings, strings, uh, long, high. It is going to go to the, okay, this is what, let's, um, let's discuss real quick what we're going to create here. So we're going to have, for, for, we're going to have the stem, we're going to have stems. 
and we have groups. For the stems, we're going to have orchestra and uh, synths. And obviously, we still don't have synth sounds and things like this, but for now, synths, uh, you're going to have a um, uh, perk. We're going to have a uh, case. Let's start with this. Usually, usually I have six, okay? Many composers will have six. It's very standard to deliver six stems to that mix. For now, we're going to create four. And for groups, we're going to have uh, strings. Okay, strings, short, no, high, short. Strings high, long, strings low, short, and strings long, low. What? Low, low, long. Cool. So that's that. Then we're going to have not as much separation, but uh, for the um, woods, woodwinds short. Woodwinds long, brass short, brass long. This is it could be different. Okay, you can have more groups. I I choose to have these ones just for now. Okay, brass long short and then uh, percussion high, percussion mid, percussion low. This will keep things organized. When we've got a template like this, to be honest, it doesn't make that big. That doesn't make that. You know, it's how many tracks we've got? Forty-seven. Forty-seven, and we've got already like ten. Uh, group, so it doesn't make that big of a difference. Groups is to keep things organized. Um, so, uh, so if you've got 700 trucks, if you have 40 groups, then it makes sense, right? Because you're grouping things. But having 40 trucks and 20 groups, it makes no sense. All right. So there is, we don't need that much separation, but we're going to go for it anyway. Cool. All right. So obviously, this one is going to go to orchestra, uh, to orchestra stem. Stem. Etc. See, boom, 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 boom. Work. Okay, let's build this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here because I move faster. So number one, and and then we're gonna have. Three. Yes. Let's go with this. Again, this could be different. But for now, this is an example. Okay, this will customize your sound so you can uh, you can customize this to your needs. Okay. 
let's build this so stems so this is going to be group tracks group track so we're gonna have orch by the way these guys go to master boom 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 all right let's do this let me see what i have to leave dang let me look at my calendar have a meeting starting in dang, 10 minutes so, so we'll continue tomorrow i guess or in a couple of days let's get this started orchestra let's uh create so how many one two three four let's do this as fast as possible Okay, group tracks, orchestra, perk, synths, case, cool, awesome. These are the stems, let's call them, um, stems and now we're going to create effects and we said we're gonna have three and this is gonna be a burp oh dang no not cinematic rooms so this is gonna be short burp copy mid paste long paste cool all right and i like to okay uh these two here because they are already configured okay uh this convolution i think Cool, so we've got here, we can delete this guy. And then we're gonna have the groups. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. See, I'm gonna put it here. And uh, this one is going to go direct routing to, not the stereo out, but to the orchestra. So orchestra, and this is going to be a folder track. These are groups. This is gonna go in here. Oops, in here. So this is strings. Strings high short. Boom, and this goes to the orchestra. So I'm gonna duplicate, duplicate, duplicate strings high long strings low short and the strings low long etc okay cool now we're gonna go with woodwind so i'm gonna duplicate this one duplicate and duplicate woodwinds short and woodwinds long right next doop doop and this is going to be brass short brass long and then we're gonna one two three and this is perk high perk mid perk low and this guy is going to go to percussion this as well percussion i could have done uh, okay that's it nice okay cool so now i have to route this thing so if i go um by uh so violins long long so if i go here whoops safe let's go here 
So violins long, violin and violas long. These all go to select output. This is going to go so option shift for cueling. See, and now you're gonna go this uh, strings high long. Boom! There you go, strings high long. Fantastic. All the violins short pizzicatos, and. Uh, Tremolo. I'm going to consider the tremolo longs. So uh, long, if it's a measured tremolo, sometimes I consider it short. So in this case, these guys are also going to go to, uh, by the way, that was loud, um, two strings high, long, shift, boom, there you go. And now, now we're going to go for short pizzicato, short pizzicato, and short the pizzicato and these are going to go to um, high short okay so we've got so we've got long short short long long short short long long short short long perfect and now we're gonna go with uh, violoncello long notes and tremolo as well as uh, double bass is long and what there's no tremolo no tremolo okay whatever and then we're gonna go here to um strings low long and now we're gonna select cello short and pizzicato and double bass short and pizzicato and these are all going to go to uh, strings long short so here Long, short, short, long, long, short. Okay. Yes, it makes sense. Cool. Here you go. Let's see if this is true. Yes, short and short. Great. And so I'm going to solo double basses. Yeah, it's going to the short. Great. Nice. Let's go here. Great. So these are the, the highs and the lows going here. Highs. Sorry. Um, high. And then they hit the orchestra. And then from the orchestra goes to the master. master and because now we've got the reverb set up here uh, this is a convolution reverb for example this guy here and uh, now we can for example go for the the strings high long that will accept more reverb we can set up here a send that goes to this uh, where is it convolution reverb for example which is this guy here and we can activate this and which is too much obviously but we can bring this at minus 12 we go on this guy just a tad less i think minus 15 and we can add a second reverb uh, have to set them up tomorrow but we've got this algorithmic reverb, which is this guy here. These are all free reverbs. Yes, maybe we can make it a little bit longer. Too much. So now it's going to be minus 10. Yes. And then there's work that I've got to do here. I do have to go 8.30. But um, tomorrow we'll be setting up reverbs. Tomorrow we're going to be setting up reverbs because uh, I need uh, EQ before the reverb and, and dynamic EQ after the reverb. And so, and then we're going to be setting up the tomorrow or whenever I have to look at my calendar. Uh, but there's going to be a, a one uh, live to finish up this part. And I will also um, announce it so you know when, when, when it is. And we're going to be uh, setting up, working on the reverbs, and then we're going to be working out in the rest of the mix in the groups, this part here. 
uh, compressors, etc. And then we're going to go to the stems, which are these guys here. These uh, the orchestra, percussion, scenes, and keys, these guys. And um, we're going to be working on the mastering. We're going to compress, saturation, brightness, etc. And with that, we should have the all these worked out. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Talk to you soon. You're awesome. Uh, let me take a look at the comments. Thanks for joining. Sorry for uh, the first part of the stream to break up. Um, thanks for letting me know. I may tomorrow. I may upload a kind of like a, um, a, the entire version of the two parts. So it's uh, in one part on in YouTube, and uh, and uh, because I recorded this locally, this, this, the drops and everything is not gonna be there. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Uh, thanks for giving me the chance to be here with you today. It's a uh, it's a blessing, and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye.